Hey guys, Anthony Jones here and I am working on the Top Gun Jumbo. I decided I'd make a uh, little micro video on how I do my carpet work. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I do my carpet work on my trailer. We got a little bit of beautiful weather here in Athens, GA. So I got the old Jumbo out of the garage into the sun and uh, decided to do some much needed work to the trailer of the boat. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I use, why I use it, and a couple little tips and tricks of uh, how I get my carpet to look professionally wrapped. So enjoy. Follow me here on uh, on YouTube if you, if you like what you see. Um, follow me on Instagram if you love John Boats. Uh, check out my build. There's a full documentation of pictures of how I've done what I've done. It's at Adub Jones. Like, subscribe, enjoy. Hey guys, Anthony Jones here, and I've got the Top Gun John Boat halfway pulled off the trailer. I'm doing a little bit of trailer work today, ladies and gentlemen. It's a nice sunny day outside, and um, no better time than now to do a little trailer work, considering I started about a year ago and, and hadn't touched it since because I've been doing all these fun projects on that, like live well casting deck. But um, anyhow, so you can kind of see here, already carpeted the bottom. Uh, supports did not do the top this is a custom built trailer that my dad built it's actually a really nice trailer um, I, I really like it the only thing I didn't like was he had um, ran these side braces and they were they were about two foot longer actually uh, the bracing went all the way to the end so I cut that off and that's pretty much it um, the other thing I did do actually was um, I took this one by it's a uh, one by six and I cut all these holes out and uh, to me this is a uh, kind of a military theme the flying tigers from World War II kind of a military themed boat and so um, this kind of gives it that uh, industrial military look it's gonna be painted black um, I think I took like three or four inch circles measured them out Traced them all out equal, equally uh, spaced and then cut them out with a jigsaw and then got in there real good with some sandpaper Smoothed it all out. It gives it a cool look. I like it again gonna paint it all black. So a lot of people won't notice it, but it will look cool um, Now I'm just gonna carpet these top braces. I figured I'd show you what I'm using How I'm gonna do it because I think there's a right way and a wrong way But um, I'll show you how I'm gonna do it my way and um, hopefully it'll help somebody out if you're doing some trailer work on a on a tiny boat or a small boat so stay tuned all right so these are the spreaders i'm using and this is the glue i'm using i bought it at lowe's indoor outdoor carpet adhesive um this was the selling point now for use on boats so um anyhow this is what i'm using again got it at lowe's i don't even remember how much it cost maybe 10 bucks these are spreaders now they come a lot longer than this. I just razor knife them up to make them easier to work with. But you'll you'll see that they've got two different sizes. Um, you got you got on the left the smaller, on the right the bigger. For everything I've done in my boat, I've done I've used the bigger um, because they, it says on, on the instructions which you can't read because I've I've cut them all up to use the smaller stuff on existing flooring and to use the bigger on like wooden subfloor. And since all my panels in my boat are wood, and then also um, these parts I'm about to wrap on the trailer are wood, I just figured probably need to use that side. And it's worked so far, so that's how I'm doing it. Okay, got the glue on. It's not a whole lot to it. It's uh, not the prettiest job, but it's not that bad. But um, yeah, just use the spreader and spread it out evenly. It's almost like uh, if you've ever done tile work. It's kind of a similar similar deal but um glues on now I'm gonna wrap it in carpet so this is what I'm using I'm just using indoor outdoor carpet I have two colors I've darker and lighter after much debate I decided I'm gonna go ahead and use the lighter because um, that's what I've used throughout the throughout the trailer and then also throughout the boat but um I really wanted to use the darker because I have no other use for it but I guess I'm just gonna make sure I match up so I'm just cutting strips I've decided that um, eight inches is gonna give me enough to uh, overlap the top and the bottom give me a good point to staple to 
So that's what I went with. Just measured out eight inches and I'm cutting strips. And I'm gonna wrap it. All right, so all I'm gonna need is my trusty staple gun and I've got some quarter inch staples. They're actually stainless steel. Um, the stainless won't rust, obviously, but what I do is I take these, this uh, Rust-Oleum flat gray paint and I hit them with the quick coat or two of this paint. That way, when I staple them through this, this gray carpet, you uh, you probably won't see the staple. Um, the stainless will reflect a lot of light and it'll stick out like a sore thumb um, when light hits it. So just to give it a little cleaner, more professional job, that's how I hide my staples um, whenever I do any kind of carpet work. So just a little tip, but time to staple. What I've got here is a Easton baseball bat that I'm going to use to uh, roll this carpet. And it's actually a hammer. But I like to use this bat because it's aluminum, it's round, and I just use it like you were rolling dough. Um, I, I take two hands. Obviously, I'm holding my phone with one, but I'll take two hands of my body weight and I'll just roll out all of these wrinkles and compress that carpet into that uh, hard wooden surface and um, just get this carpet stretched out get all the air out from under it and make sure that uh, it grabs that glue really well so um, baseball bat works great for for uh, applying carpet um, I would strongly recommend it or anything round for that matter but I use a baseball bat and here's another little trick that I do when I do any upholstery work is you can pull this with your hands all day and try to get a uh, kung fu grip on it and get it tight so you could get get it stapled down um but what i do to get it super super tight and alleviate stress on my hand and get it even tighter is i take a pair of these pliers and i grab this carpet like so and then i could crank all my body weight into this carpet and get it as tight as i can and um that gives me a really good um roll on this edge and uh, that's how I've done all the carpet work inside the boat. And it works amazing when you're wrapping edges, um, like some of the ones that I have, to get that super, super tight fitment. So I would, uh, I would highly recommend it if you look at some of the things that I've carpeted. That's the only way that you can achieve that kind of effect is uh, using this to give you leverage. This is how I do my returns on my corners. I'll just take it and I'll kind of just fold it over. I made a cut here. I'll wrap that, staple that, and then I'll take this, staple this, and I'll cut off my excess and then cut it here too. But um, some people just, just fold it all up and, and do that, but then you, you're left with this big, um, big crease. If you're okay with that, you could do that, just like wrapping a Christmas present. I like to cut all this excess out. So it just takes a couple cuts with the uh, razor knife. All right, see how I did that? I stapled these flaps down. Now I'm just gonna simply fold this over, staple this, and then cut my excess so it'll be perfect. All stapled up on this side. Got all that excess cut off. And that is how it's done on the corners. And that is it for the carpet. Trimmed all the excess off. Turned out real nice. Probably gonna check it one more time, make sure there's not any area that needs any more staples. It's uh, all real nice and tight. Let that glue tack up and um, she'll be good to go. I've still gotta do the uh, paint work on the wooden portion, but that's for another day, another video. But you get the idea of how I do all my carpet work. This is just uh. Just a small little video on a small project, but that's how I do my carpet work. Hopefully you learned something. Again, thank you. Like, subscribe, follow, all of the above. Tiny Boat Nation.